account current dear students today let us learn about account current definition the methods of calculating interest and how an account current is headed and prepared definition an account current is a statement in debit and credit form regarding the transactions between two parties during the particular period interest usually being calculated on each item at an agreed rate and included in the account it is usually rendered by one dealer to another or a banker to his client or by an agent to his principal or by a consignee to his consignor methods of calculating interest the following are the various methods of calculating interest in account current one by tables interest is calculated by tables on each item separately from the due date of each transaction to the end of the period of the account the interest column on both sides of the account are then added and the balance is carried out into the principal column two by products the system consists in multiplying each amount by the number of days it has to run for interest each such product being placed in the product column against the item the product columns are then balanced and the interest on the balance of the product is extended into the account the interest is ascertained by the following formula interest is equal to balance of products into rate divided by 365 into 100 3 by interest numbers this method represents a slight variation of the product method and is sometimes called the english method although it is also extensively used on the continent it consists in dividing each product by 100 and the resulting figure is placed against each item in the column headed interest numbers the numbers column are then balanced and the interest on the balance of numbers is extended into the account the interest is ascertained by the following formula interest is equal to balance of numbers into rate divided by 365 how an account current is headed an account current is really a copy ledger of the opposite party in the books of the person rendering such an account the person rendering the account is one who is last named at the head of the account thus p powery in account current with c donald could mean that the latter is rendering the account to p powery from the transactions as recorded in his c donald's books in calculating days for the purpose of interest it is usually to calculate one end day and not both the day on which the transaction took place is generally ignored where however the account current commences with an opening balance the opening date will have to be counted as it would represent the balance that existed on the previous day when goods are sold under an agreement that payment shall be due on a certain subsequent date the number of days must be calculated from the latter date and not the date of the transaction illustration the following transactions took place between r vinay and p basu from 1st january 2021 to 30th june 2021 the transactions are as below january 1 sold goods to p basu 1120 rupees january 10 received his acceptance at 2 months 500 rupees february 15 cash received from p basu 600 rupees march 2 bought goods of p basu 2750 march 3 accepted p basu's draft for 1 month 1000 rupees april 11 cash paid to p basu 1000 april 30 goods sold to p basu due end of may 1200 may 11 bought goods from p basu 750 rupees may 31 sold goods to p vasu due 10th june 2021 1100 june 15 bought goods from p vasu 1500 you are required to make out an account current to be rendered by r vinayak as at 30th june 2021 taking interest into account at 5% per annum and showing the actual working under each of the usual three methods solution first method 
Interest here is calculated on each item separately from the date of each transaction to the end of the period of account. P Basu in account current with R Vinayak. On the debit side, date, particulars, days, interest at 5% amount. On the credit side, date, particulars, number of days, interest at 5% and amount will be there. Let us record the transactions on the debit and credit side. January 1, 2 goods, amount 1,120, number of days 181, interest at 5% comes to 27 rupees 77 paisa. This interest is calculated from January 1 to 30th June. March 3, 2 bills payable due April 6th, amount 1,000, number of days 85, interest at 5% comes to 11 rupees 64 paisa. April 11, 2 cash, 1,000 rupees, number of days 80, interest at 5%, comes to 10 rupees 96 paise. April 30 to goods due May 21 amount 1200 number of days 30 interest at 5% 4.93 May 31 to goods due June 30 1100 rupees number of days 20 interest at 5% 3.01 on the credit side January 1 by bills receivable due March 13 Amount 500, number of days 109, interest at 5%, 7.47. February 15, by cash, 600 rupees, number of days 136, interest at 5%, 11 rupees 18 paisa. March 2, by goods, amount 2750, number of days 120, interest at 5%, 45 rupees 21 paisa. May 11, by goods, 750 rupees. Number of days 50, interest at 5%, 5 rupees 14 paise. June 15, by goods, amount 1500, number of days 15, interest at 5%, 3.08. Now, if you see, add up the total interest column on the debit side, total interest coming to 58 rupees 32 paise. On the credit side, interest column coming to total 72 rupees 07 paise. These two interest we need to transfer to the amount column. On the debit side, June 30 to interest 58.32. On the credit side, June 30 by interest 72.07. When we balance the amounts along with interest, on the debit side the total coming to 5478.32. On the credit side it is coming to 6172.07. There is a balance of 6. 193 rupees 75 by say excess credit. In the next step, we will transfer the 693.75 on the debit side to close the to balance the account with the 6172.07. On the debit side, two balance carry down 693.75. Now in the total debits and total credits, 6172.07 equally. For the next period, we have to carry forward this excess credit ban 693.75, July 1, by balance brought down 693.75. Finally, under first method, did this account current statement, P. Basu in account current with R. Nayak Vinayak statement will appear like this. Second method. In this method, interest is calculated on balance of products. P. Basu in account current with R. Vinayak. On the debit side, similarly, date, particulars, amount, number of days and products. On the credit side, date, particulars, amount, number of days and products will be there. Let us record the, all the transactions on both on debit and credit sides. January 1 to goods, amount 1,120, number of days 181, products 1,120 into 181, 2,2720 rupees. March 3, to bills receivable due April 6th, amount 1,000, number of days 85. Products 85,000. April 11, 2 cash, 1,000 rupees. Number of days 80. Products 80,000. April 30, 2 goods due May 31, 1,200. Days 30. Products 36,000. May 31, 2 goods due June 30, amount 1,100. Number of days 20. Products 22,000. On the credit side, January 1 by bills receivable due May March 13 amount 500 number of days 109 products 54500 
1.5 February 15 by cash 600 rupees number of days 136 amount 81600 March 2 by goods amount 2750 number of days 120 products 330000 May 11 by goods 750 rupees days 50 products 37500 June 15 by goods 1500 number of days 15 products 22500 when we total up the amount column total debits are coming 5420 total credits are 6100 before closing the account we need to balance the products the total products of the debit column 425720 and the products total of the products on the credit side 526100 there is a balance of excess credit products 1380 rupees so this 1,380 rupees we need to transfer to debit side to balance of products June 30 to balance of products 1,380 and then the products column total debits and credits are, are equal 5,26,100. So now the next step we need to calculate interest on the products. Interest is calculated like this 1,380 into 5% 5 by 365. We have to calculate interest for one day. It comes to 13 rupees 75 paise. When we total up the amount columns, on the debit side it is 5,420 and on the credit side along with interest it is 6,113.75. The difference of excess credit is 693.75. So we have to transfer the 693.75 on the debit side to match the account to balance the account properly. June 32 balance carried on 693.75 then we tar total up the debits total debits is 6113.75 and the credit is 6113.75 and we have to carry forward this balance for the next period July 1 by balance brought down 693.75 this is how in the second method the account current will appear this is the figures all the figures and the balance and trust net interest all the figures are similar to that of first method. In the third method, the products as per second method are divided by 100 and the resulting figure is placed against each item in the products column in order to reduce the values and to ease the calculations. Thus, the side by second method and the third method account current statements can be cross-checked and compared to understand the third method of calculations. In the next lecture, we will discuss about partnership accounts.